Hey, Marcus, good to see you. Um, how, how was your off season and what were you uh, focused on? Um, off season has been good. Uh, I spent a lot of my time here in Denver, um, you know, just working with the player development staff, a lot of the coaches and, you know, just being able to be around everybody within the organization has been great. Um, been working a lot on, you know, just change of pace, continuing to get comfortable and familiar with, you know, how we, how we run things here in Denver, you know, offensively and defensively. Um, then also, you know, just continuing to get my strength and conditioning up. Um, then also just tweaking, you know, little parts of my game that, you know, flow within our offense, you know, so, um, you know, just a little bit of everything, but more specifically, just, you know, getting better acclimated, you know, um, within the rotation. Ryan Blackburn, Denver Stiffs. Hey, Ryan, we can't hear you. All right, Ryan, we'll try you again here in just a second. We're going to move on to Jacob Toby from Nine News. Marcus, uh, how disappointing was it for you to not be able to play in summer league this year? And did it, you know, did it deter you at all, or did you just kind of brush that off to the side? Uh, it was definitely um, disappointing. Um, timing could have been worse, but, you know, all things happen for a reason. And, you know, I felt, um, you know, just with the timing of it all, just wasn't meant to be at the moment. So, um, you know, I didn't let it deter me away from, you know, my, my vision and my goal. So, um, you know, just took it on the chin, you know, um, went through the, the protocols and everything that needed to be done to be cleared and everything. And, um, you know, the past is in the past, you know, wish I could have been out there competing uh, in summer league, but, you know, it is what it is. And uh, I'm just looking forward to continuing uh, to compete and continuing to, you know, trying to, get um, a better feel for myself here going into my second year. Joel Rush, Forbes. Hey, Marcus. Uh, you mentioned some tweaks you were making to your game. Uh, could you elaborate on those a little bit? And were those more decided by yourself or with the guidance of the coaching staff as well? Um, I would say a little bit of both, but, um, you know, kind of being – a guy that can play on the ball as well as off, you know, so just working things within my game, like my shooting off the, off the catch, off the dribble, um, with whoever the coaches will want me um, when I'm in the rotation, whether it be at the point or, you know, off the ball. It's where guys like Faku, Monte, Jamal can initiate the offense. You know, I can be a guy that can run off the screens and stuff like that off the ball. So um, just trying to incorporate that, you know, in a lot of my workouts and things like that, as well as like my finishing around the rim, you know, a guy my size, you know, being able to, um, you know, get better, you know, floaters and um, crafty finishes around the rim or things that I've been working on for sure. Leonardo Torres, El Comercio, Peru. Hi, Marcus. It's Leonardo Torres from Peru. Hope you're well. Marcus, what are your expectations for this season and what do you expect from Nicola for this season? Uh, expectations, you know, for our team, I think, you know, I think we're a championship level team and, you know, I think we have the the chance and the opportunity, as well as individuals collectively, you know, to make a really, really far run. I think we can go as far as we want to take it. I think we can win, a, win an NBA championship with the, with the type of talent that we have on this team. And um, Nicole, you know, coming off an MVP season, you know, I expect nothing less than, you know, him to continue all that he did from last year. You know, he's the best in the NBA for a reason. And um, I expect him to continue that, that success and help in leading our team, you know, to a lot of victories, hopefully to a championship. Harris Wynn, DNVR. Hey, Marcus, that Red Rocks workout that you guys do has become such a staple uh, with the organization. Do you remember the first one, the first Red Rocks workout that you did and what you thought, if it was easy, if it was hard, what your first impressions were? Yeah, so I mean, I do something similar in the offseason back in Arizona with my dad, you know, training and running on, on hills and stuff like that in elevation. But uh, nothing compares to Red Rocks. And, you know, my first workout, it was myself. Zeke Naji and Jamichael Green, and you know it was just us three doing it, and that workout was intense. Um, you know, as hard as it is, it is a lot of fun. You know, something something different. You know, a different type of workout that you're not necessarily used to during the season. So to kind of have that change of pace is cool, but um, yeah, it's not it's not the most fun workout I'd say, but it definitely pays off. You know, being that high up and you know just working on that conditioning and that cardio it definitely helps prepare you for the season. Katie Wingy, Altitude Sports. 
Hey, Marcus, great to see you. Uh, given you know Jamal Murray won't be able to play for at least, you know, half of this season, how has that fueled you personally, knowing that, you know, opportunity is knocking on your door once again? Yeah, I mean, just definitely with a guy like Jamal, who, you know, carries a tremendous load for our team, um, with him being absent, you know, for most of the season this year, uh, we know guys are again going to have to step up like they did similar to last year. And um, I just feel with the guards we have, we're a guard heavy team. So, I know myself as well as a lot of other guys are going to step up and um, that's just kind of the mentality we've had since last year. You know, we've had a number of injuries and you guys, guys have had to have been thrown in there and um, have to be expected to be ready. So I see no different than going into this year is, you know, myself as well as a lot of other guys being in different roles, um, you know, stepping up to the challenge. And I know we're all looking forward to that. And when Jamal does come back, hopefully sooner than later, um, we know we're going to be in my opinion, the best team in the NBA, just with the individual talent that we have, but as well as being able to bring that together collectively. Ryan Blackburn, Denver Stiffs. Can you hear me, Marcus? Yeah. Uh, after going up in the playoffs against two really elite backcourts with Damon CJ in Portland, Chris Paul, Devin Booker, Phoenix, what was one thing, two things that you think you learned from that situation, this being your first year in the NBA? And what do you think you can take from that just going forward from this? Um, you know, I think just it was kind of a testament to my entire rookie year is just always being ready, you never knowing when your opportunity is going to come. So for myself personally, you know, my opportunity came, um, you know, in the most important time of the season, which is in the playoffs. And, you know, no matter what the, the expectation is, you always have to be ready. So for myself, I think there was no better test for me than to kind of just be thrown in there. And the entire year, you know, mentally, I tried my best to stay prepared and stay ready mentally and physically. And um, I think my preparation, as well as, uh, you know, there's a great support from, you know, our coaches, our training staff, medical staff, um, strength conditioning staff, you know, they help keep me um, ready for whatever situation presented itself. So that kind of is something I learned um, late in the year. But then also, you know, just the intensity and, you know, the type of level of play that, the playoffs offers, you know, you have to always be ready. You know, you can't ever take a playoff. You know, every play is meaningful. So, um, you know, if you kind of put yourself in a position during the year to prepare yourself that way, the playoffs, you know, it's just going to be like second nature. So um, just the importance of each and every possession in the playoffs is definitely key. Mike Singer, Denver Post. Hey, Marcus, um, do you, what do you anticipate your role being this year? Um, and you mentioned you guys are a guard heavy team. Uh, if there's a better opportunity down in the G League, would you be open to going down there? Um, you know, again, if the minutes were there. Yeah, definitely. You know, I mean, I know the type of player that I am. I know what I'm capable of and I know what I can bring to an organization, especially this one. So um, whatever opportunity presents itself, whether it's in the NBA or in the G League, I'm going to put my best foot forward. I'm going to compete. Um, I'm not going to change who I am as a player or as a person. So um, whatever vision the team has for me, you know, I'm going to work my butt off. Um, and, you know, I'm just ready for whatever opportunity comes. So um, no matter what, what, what comes, what occurs, you know, I'll be ready. Katie Wingy, Altitude Sports. Marcus, you mentioned that you spend a lot of the offseason in Denver. Who – coach or player have you been spending the most time working out with who have you been alongside and has anybody stood out to you so far um you know for the majority of the summer you know I was here in Denver you know, it's primarily myself Zeke Naji um you know us younger guys were here um but each and every day you know I'd work with Charles Class John Beckett Stephen Graham um and you know it would be a lot of the routinely stuff we do during the season but more focusing on things and aspects of my game that I need to work on. So it was definitely more personalized, but um, I would say early on in the summer, um, it's been mostly just myself and Zeke. And, uh, you know, as the summer's gone on, you know, more guys have been coming in. And um, I've, I've seen Aaron, you know, here the past two days and playing, and he looks great. And you can definitely tell he's been Looks like we're having a little technical difficulties here, guys. Bear with us. We'll uh, get this straightened out here. Can you hear us, Derek? Yep, you guys are back. Oh, you froze a little again. There we go. Okay, I think we're back. Um, do we want to restart that question? Uh, 
Do you want to finish that? You know what you're saying? Or yeah, you just, just, yeah. Just start, just start it over. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, so yeah, this summer, um, just been working with, um, Zeke a lot, me and him were, you know, two of the guys that were here early in the summer in about June and July, but, um, I've been working with Charles class, John Beckett, Stephen Graham, you know, each and every day, um, for the past couple months and, you know, just tweaking things in my game, like finishing as well as things I've already been, you know, kind of doing with the team this past year, but also, you know, just being back these past two days and seeing Aaron Gordon, you know, back and, and playing, you know, you can definitely tell he's been in the gym and, you know, improving his game. He's already an outstanding player, but um, he's definitely making his presence felt. And I know he's going to be a big part of what we build here, what we're doing. And, um, you know, but every everybody I feel that's been back, you know, has really been improving and, you know, kind of standing out. So it's been cool to see. All right, that'll do it. Thanks for sitting down, Marcus. Appreciate it.